Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with our alternating current chapter. So in last class, we learned about the uh, mean value of current and the uh, RMS value of current, how the calculations will be going on and along with that we learned how to do the numerical part of LCR circuit. Okay, so today we are going to learn about resonance. So what is resonance? Last year in waves chapter you already studied about this uh, resonance. If a natural frequency is present, that natural frequency uh, when it is matching with the outside that is externally applied frequency, it will be oscillating with its maximum amplitude right that is called resonance okay when the natural frequency is equal to the external frequency the wave will start oscillating in its maximum frequency or maximum amplitude that is called a resonance here in this case in an ac circuit or in an uh, lcr circuit how we can say it is a resonance is present or not how we can at which uh, see which context we can say resonance the system is under resonance so here in the case of resonance uh, in the lcr circuit we know about the resistance factor that is impedance in the case of lcr circuit z is equal to root of r square plus xc minus xl the whole square okay here we are applying an AC source, AC, alternating current is applying over there. While we are increasing the frequency of, increasing the frequency. While we are increasing the frequency, what will happen in this LCR circuit? Omega will increase. Omega equals 2 pi into nu. Therefore, as nu increases, omega will increase. If omega increases, what will happen to this impedance? See, R won't be changing in any way. But Xc is equal to 1 by omega C and Xl equals 1 omega into L. As omega increases, Xc will be decreasing and Xl will be increasing. Okay, if Xc is decreasing and Xl is increasing in the sense, at a particular frequency called omega R, at a particular frequency omega r, xc will be equal to xl, right? So because this is decreasing and this is increasing, while we are increasing the frequency, at one particular point xc will become equal to xl. So that is, we can write it as 1 by omega c, that is equal to omega into l, that time what is omega r? At a particular frequency, omega r. So, omega r will be equal to 1 by root Lc. Okay. This is called a resonant frequency. So, at this resonant frequency, what will be the current in the uh, resonant frequency? i is equal to v by z. In the case of LCR circuit, when xc equals xl, what will be v by r alone will be existing in the case of at, at at the resonant frequency. At the resonant frequency, we have no need to consider about xc and xl values because both are equal. So that xc minus xl term will be equal to 0. Clear? So we will be getting i is equal to v by r. At resonance, current will be maximum current we will be getting. At the resonant value, we will be getting a maximum current. So if I am drawing a current diagram like that like this see like this it will be going so we will be getting the maximum current at the resonant value at omega r the current will be maximum at other values and all xc minus xl will be present if it is small also it will be present so it will be greater r square plus xc minus xl clear about this resonant and resonant frequency and when we will be using this resonant frequency this resonant frequency we will be using at the time of tuning the uh, radio station or uh, TV or uh, radios and uh, while we are tuning the circuit we will be using this 
resonant frequency. So while uh, tuning means what we are doing over there, we will be adjusting the value of capacitance. Capacitor value while we are turning, what is happening over there? We are changing the capacitance value to get the required resonant frequency. When the outside frequency is equal to the frequency of this radio station which we are tuning over there, that frequency, both the frequencies are matching, we can absorb the sound. Okay, we will be getting that sound. So, in the case of radio frequency, radio tuning and all, we will be using this resonant frequency. Clear? Next is Q factor or sharpness of resonance. See, what is meant by the Q factor? Q factor is the sharpness of resonance. Q factor is the ratio of voltage across L or voltage across the capacitor to the voltage across the resistor. Okay, this ratio is called as Q factor. So, yeah, voltage across inductor divided by voltage across resistor I am considering. So, V equals I into R. Here R is XL divided by I into R. Right, XL is equal to, we can write it as Q equals XL is 1 by omega, sorry, XL equals omega into L divided by R. So, but what is omega here at the resonance? Q factor is at the point of resonance only we are telling. So, here instead of omega, we can represent it as omega R. Omega R equals 1 by root LC into L divided by R. So, we can write it as root of L by C into 1 by R or 1 by R into root, L, root of L by C. That is the Q factor. So, if we are uh, considering V of C, how we will be getting this? I into Xc divided by I into R or we can write it as 1 by omega C into R. Okay, here we can write omega as 1 by root LC, root LC divided by CR that is root of L by C into 1 by R. Therefore, Q factor in both the ways while we are finding out, we will be getting the Q factor as 1 by R into root LC. So, at resonance, the Q factor is the, resin, the ratio of voltage across the inductor or capacitor to the voltage across the resistor. Clear? So, this Q factor, so for what purpose we are using this Q factor? So, here in this case of in the in Q factor, while we are considering the Q factor, it is depending on R, L and C. Right. So, R as R increases, what will happen to Q factor? Q factor will decrease. If R is decreasing, what will happen? Q factor will increase. If Q is Q value is greater, sharpness will be or its resonance will be more it will be sharpness of resonance will be more in the case if q factor increases narrow over the uh, sharpness sharpness will be na narrow over there or we will be getting the nice resonance if q value is more that means if r is less then q value will be more over there 1 by r into root of l by c the uh, this uh, why we are using this Q factor in resonances? Because as the R value decreases, Q value increases. If a higher value of Q, higher Q value we are getting means we will be getting, understanding that the sharpness will be more in that circuit. Clear? So we will do some numerical. First question is, figure shows the series LCR circuit with L equals 5 Henry capacitor C equals 80 microfarad and R equals 40 ohm connected to a variable frequency of 250 volt source. So V equals 240 volt 
calculate the angular frequency of the source which drives the circuit at resonance omega r we should find out then current at the resonance resonating frequency i also we need to find out so everything is connected in series ac source the diagram just it's a inductor capacitor and resistor like this a series circuit it is given so we need to find out omega r and i how we can find out omega r omega r will be equal to 1 by root lc l is given c is given c you can convert it into uh, farad 10 to the power minus 6 so you will be getting the value of omega r now i how you can find out i is equal to v by r why we are considering r alone because at resonance we no need to consider the xc and xl value because xc will be equal to xl so v is given as 240 divided by 40 you will get the 6 ampere clear next question is a series lcr circuit with L equals 80 milli Henry and C equals 50 microfarad and R equals 60 ohm is connected to a variable source variable frequency 220 volt. Determine the source frequency which drives the circuit in resonance. Find the quality factor or Q factor of the circuit. So the values given are L equals 80 milli Henry and C equals 50 microfarad and R equals 60 ohm as connected to a variable frequency of voltage 220 volt source. We need to find out the source frequency which drives the current. So omega R we need to find out. How we will find out 1 by root LC? For that we should convert milli Henry to Henry 10 to the power minus 3. Microfarad to farad means 50 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Okay, and substitute the value you will get the final answer omega r. Now we need to find out the q factor. Q factor how we can find out 1 by r into root of l by c. That also direct formula r is given you can find out the value of uh, this q factor. Here another question a capacitor blocks dc and allows ac why? See capacitor is blocking capacitor blocks DC blocks DC and allows AC. What is the reason behind it? Okay, capacitor we know XC equals 1 by omega C. Omega equals 2 pi into nu into C. Nu frequency is what is the frequency in DC source? While we are considering DC, frequency is not there. It's a steady current. Frequency is equal to 0. That is, Xc will be equal to infinity. 1 by 0 is infinity. So, if Xc is infinity, whether DC current can pass through that. Resistance is infinity means no current will pass through it. But in the case of AC, frequency anyway, it is not equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, some Xc will be, Xc will be less than infinity anyway. So, it will allow the AC through it. That is the reason clear so these are some of the questions in that power factor power uh, or q factor and the resonance okay so in next class we will be coming with the next step that is power factor and lc oscillations and i think it is clear for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye